Italy has been under renovation. Earlier this summer, it opened Olivine, an Italian restaurant with inspiration from the Amalfi Coast. This is the executive chef, Ryan Urig, here to tell us how they're incorporating local seafood. Look at all this local seafood. Wow. With handmade pasta and herbs that are grown on property, all influenced from the Amalfi Coast, huh? Yes, it is, and also tying in with the Hawaiian culture. So we're really utilizing all the, so everything we grow at, around the islands, so we use 94% of all our stuff is from the islands. Mm -hmm. So we have a great program with um, our maricultural program from Blue Ocean. Okay. So we'll start off over here. Oh, I'm going to on this side, guys, which is for our, for our people downstairs over here. <laughs> so we're here. We have our fresh oysters. We have some Kush and Komoto oysters here. And we have it with a passion fruit mignette right here. So you have this is our fresh local passion fruit with a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Grace, I like this little can here. I knew yeah, you guys, yeah. I wanted to make sure you guys. I think the caviar. Here, let me put a little bit of caviar on here for you so you can get in there and try yeah, he some. Has, he, has a, he has expensive taste I there. know, that's why I knew. I knew you'd be yeah. on, so we wanted to make I'm sure. I'm fried chicken caviar, but you know. <laughs> well, you'll love the squash blossoms when we get to that. But this looks amazing. This looks, what is this over here? So these are our crudos. So this is okay. our um, Hawaiian kampachi. So this is uh, marinated with lemon oil, crispy pancetta, our local Ogo. So we have our sea grapes and our sea kelp wow. and everything that you see here throughout. Beautiful. So very nice, fresh citrus, and it's with a red pepper rumminisco underneath. So you have that, so it's tied in. Then here we go to our local um, ahi. So we have our ahi that's marinated with fresh herbs, shiso, our local citrus, a little bit of pepperoncinis, and that's also hit with some fennel. So very flavorful citrus and everything throughout. I love when you throw the citrus in there because it just brightens up the whole dish. No, it, it does, it and it's just so cleans clean. The, cleans the yeah, palate, exactly. you know? And then you brought these beautiful fish with you. So these are all part of your new menu items. Yes, it is. So we do whole fish. We will, I'll show you that when we're getting close there. <laughs> okay. So we use our naga. So we do everything long line. We tie in with tropics and everything throughout, and we also work with uh, Blue Ocean. So we are pushing throughout here, so you'll see the fish coming up. This is our unique bread service right here. Okay. So we have a, we have a mac nut pesto with some roasted garlic. So in here, we mix this and muddle it at the table. I was at a mortar and pesto. Yeah, so we hit that, and then you have all the mac nut. Ooh. And what we've done is we've taken our Maui Gold pineapple and we uh -huh. fermented it. Oh. So that's what we use for the base. So you have that nice, crispy, fresh pineapple tied in with some burnt rosemary. Low we do a whole food. herb program, too, where all the rosemary is around the, um, our restaurant, and we incorporate that into a lot of dishes. And I okay. noticed you bought a nice little compachi over there, too. I did. That one's beautiful. And yeah, that's that, what you'll that see that coming out of the oven shortly as the whole fish. All right, yeah. should we talk about what Chef Louis is doing over here? Because he's been working so hard. <laughs> <laughs> So Chef Louis is right here, he's showcasing. So we tie in with a, a local um, pasta place called Salt and Pepe in Maui. Uh -huh. So they make all our fresh pastas for us. Oh. So we get them delivered daily. So when we went into making the restaurant, we want to make sure we delivered on the freshest pasta we could. So we are the only ones right now making fresh pasta at the Grand. So that's all tied in, very flavorful. And this is with our manila clams, fresh herbs. A little fresh um, zucchini that in there. That makes such a difference when they make fresh pasta as opposed to dry pasta. Now, dry pasta is great. It is. But it's fresh great. pasta, the chew. Yeah, he just got back from Italy. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's why so, you're so excited. So, I, love, I yeah. mean, I don't know. <laughs> you got all the info and yeah. the notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have another dish. To yeah, so pour? here, right here, is our squash blossoms. I know you oh. like fried. Oh. So, then, oh. this is our crispy like upcountry squash blossoms, and I'm going to okay, dri drizzle a little bit of hot honey on top. Okay. So we'll just do a little hot honey there. And underneath is a mac nut pesto. Oh, wow. So you have right, a mac nut pesto in our local honeycomb. Yeah, I tried that. And then we have only about less than a minute left. So Perfect. So you to pull out. It's kind of the signature dish, and there's Correct. hot behind, hot behind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay if we burn them. We're good. we, we got to wake them up. I'm like, no, yeah. no, not on this show. Yeah. Everyone stays okay. Now, back to these squash blossoms. This is not something you make at home. This is there's so no tedious way. to there's do. There's no way we can make Number that. one, you, it's hard to find in Hawaii. Yeah. But number two, it's really delicate, right? Speaking of delicate, look at that thing. I know. I want, it. I want to see what's inside. So in here you have your um, ricotta and burrata oh. with fresh herbs. That does so it's look just good. very flavorful. Then you got the all the out of our garden. Mm. So then you have your clams. So this, this is our back to the Amalfi Coast signature dish here. Signature dish. Yes, this is our whole fish. So we do our whole fish. It comes to the table. They take it apart. So this is our. Um, Kona kombachi, so it's this really Hawaiian kombachi, just very flavorful, delicate, mess in your mouth. And we do it with the Hawaiian sea salt. So we mix that, we put a crust on that, we bake it for about 45 minutes. Okay. We reveal it at the table side. I think we're sold. Uh, we just wanted to mention that this is just part of the new renovations going on at Grand Wailea. So Olivine is now open, and they have Kama Aina rates, we're hearing. And <laughs> We're, I think we're going to have to go to break, guy. Okay. Well, it's such a pretty <laughs> property. I oh, know. Yeah. Oh, Did yeah. you want to try this? Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll try this as we go to break. <laughs>
Can see. I take the rest of the morning off? Or not? You got it. You got it. We'll cook for you for the rest of the day. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Sounds great. Thanks, guys, for oh, being here. Oh, my pleasure. No, it was great. All right. All we'll right. be right back. Grand Wilet, we got.